How do I explain this? E math. Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are talking about how to make DIY earring holders. So I am insanely happy with how this turned out. You guys, you have no idea. When I finished it, I sent a picture to my mom and my husband and I was like, guys, look, I made this thing today. And I was so excited because I think it's so pretty. Like it honestly looks like something I would buy in a store, which is always my goal with DIYs. So not to hype it up too much, but I'm just in love with it. So sorry but it's also super easy the only thing you need is a drill which I called I called the drill a driller to my mom today on the phone and she was like don't say that in your video so thanks mom but anyways I'm very excited with how it turned out it's super easy if I can do it you can do it so without further ado let's get started okay so what you're gonna need for this DIY is an 8x8 piece of wood sandpaper, a drill with two sizes of drill bit, a 1 16th and a 3 16th, some paint, leather rope, painter's tape, a ruler, and finally a pencil. And that is all. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is get your eight by eight inch piece of wood. And so if you're like me and you don't have very many power tools, I just got my wood cut at Home Depot. They do it for free. You just tell them what size you want and it's super easy. So I would just do that. So once you have your piece of wood, just sand it down. I sanded the edges first and then I sanded the front so that's nice and smooth. So once you have that done, you're going to figure out how you're gonna space out your hole. So you wanna measure it, obviously. What I did first was mark an inch mark margin around my wood and so I just measured that out and drew it out and then once I had that done I got started on my grid pattern I personally did an inch down on one side and then on the other side I did half an inch so you're just going to mark little ticks as you measure all the way around and then you can draw out your lines so once you have your grid done you're gonna put a dot in the cross section of all of the lines if that makes any sense and that's how you'll be sure that your holes will be even okay so once you have that done all you have to do is start drilling holes into the spots that you marked so this is a tiny bit time consuming and it honestly just hurt my hand a lot holding the drill so I should take breaks oh I sound like such a wimp but anyways, I used a 1 16th drill bit. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I honestly just picked the smallest one, but I tested it out on another piece of wood to make sure my earring fit through. So once you're done drilling all your holes for your earrings, you're almost done, the hard part is over. You're just gonna drill two larger holes for the rope that's gonna hang your earring holder. So I used a 3 16th drill bit, but it just really depends on what size of rope you're using. Again, test drill it, make sure it fits, and then do it on your actual earring holder so you don't mess up. Once you have all your holes drilled, sand it down again to make it super smooth and nice, and now it's time to paint. So to make it look a little bit cuter and more finished, I added a diagonal chunk of paint. Chunk. So I put some painter's tape down diagonally across the board, and then I just painted one side of it, and I think this makes it look so cute and just so much more professional and finished than if you were to just leave it blank. So anyways, paint that side of it. I used bare paint, like actual paint for walls. This just makes it look more professional than acrylic paint, but you can definitely use acrylic paint or spray paint would also work. But I would just get a sample size from Home Depot of any color paint you want. And it's super cheap and it just looks so pretty. And then after I painted, the paint kind of filled in some of the holes. So I just went through with a needle and poked the paint out, you know, so it doesn't get stuck in there. And then you're pretty much done. All you have left to do is tie your leather rope to it. And that's it guys, you have an earring holder. And of course put earrings in it, obviously. I am like for real so happy with how this turned out. So I hope you guys like it and please let me know if you make it. I was thinking after I made this, I was like, wow, this would actually make a pretty good gift. So stay tuned friends, cause you might be getting one. So anyways, please tag me if you make it. That would make me so happy. So you can tag me at Makayla Creates or you can just follow me there for fun, you know. I think that's it guys. Thanks, bye.